Hello, hello guys, this is Minecraft here, and in today's video I'm going to be starting uh, City Skylines Let's Play. Now, some of my uh, viewers who have watched my channel for a while know that I have actually streamed City Skylines before on uh, YouTube live streaming. That was sort of a fail, and I did most of the work off camera, and I couldn't get it to work without lagging because my internet connection is pretty bad. So, um, anyways, uh, this game I have been playing for a very, very long time. Uh, now, those of you who are familiar with this game probably already know it very well. This is a very great game. I think it's very addicting. It's probably one of the best games I've ever played. Um, now, anyways... I'm going to play with uh, these mods enabled. Um, most people actually use these mods, ex uh, I mean, most uh, players who have played for a while. Uh, so 25 Spaces is just a mod which unlocks the full map, which uh, so that I can use the full, um, so that I can have more space to build out my city. And then the Traffic Manager is a mod where you can basically change uh, traffic lights and stuff, and it's to help you manage uh, your city's traffic. Uh, traffic Manager President Edition. Uh, so anyways, this Let's Play isn't going to be a standard type of City Skylines uh, playthrough, because instead of trying to build the largest city that I can, I'm going to... This is kind of going to be a Let's Play with a twist, and I'll... Um, show you guys what I mean when I start playing. So let's choose a theme. I have actually not really even thought about it. Uh, so let's see. There's Grand River. I'd like to choose some kind of temperate. Right here it says underneath, uh, on the bottom it says Bath Sea Theme. So this one's European. This one's European. This one's Boreal. This one's Boreal. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Was that Boreal or Boreal? Uh, yeah, I don't even know. Um, there we go, temperate. So, the temperate, I really like the temperate theme because um, the European theme, they don't have, like, skyscrapers and stuff. Although, in this Let's Play, even if there were skyscrapers, then they, I still wouldn't have them because this is going to be, like, a type of a rural uh, playthrough. So, I think I'm going to choose this map here. It looks nice. It has this nice island, as you can see by the picture up there. Um, I think it also has a lot of freeways, and as you can see, it has a uh, railway connection. It it seems like it doesn't have any uh, doesn't have any ship connections. It also has quite a bit of natural resources. As you can see, it has some oil, some ore, some farming, uh, farmland, and forestry. Um, now let's see how should I ma name my city. So the first thing I'm going to tell you guys is that this is going to be like a type of a rural type of city so instead of just having one large mega city with a few small cities I'm going to try to spread out my population over a very large area and I'm just going to have a bunch of uh, very small towns without any type of large uh, cities or anything like that uh, and I'll explain later what I mean by that so um, what would be a good city name? Well, first of all, I wouldn't even call this a city. This would be more of like like a county, I guess, or like some type of region of an imaginary state or country. Uh, so I'll name this, um, let's name it River Run County. There we go, River Run County. Um, because it has two rivers going together or coming apart or however they flow. Um, nice, nice, there we go, so let's start this map here, um, alright, there we go, it's loading, so I hope you guys don't mind, uh, I think you guys can see it up in the upper left hand corner, you can see the FPS screen, so I have enabled, um, FPS on my rec screen recording program, I use Bandicam to record all my videos, and that just shows the frames per second, and I like to keep track of that because City Skylines is a fairly resource-intensive game. And my PC isn't exactly that new or fast. I have a pretty old processor from 2012. Um, if, if you guys don't want that to be there, you could just comment down in the comment section and I'll remove that. But uh, for now, I really... It's great to have that there because um, I need to somehow... I, I want to know my frame per second, and also this uh, up in the the numbers right right now it's around the 40s, low 40s. Um, 
it is the numbers are red because I'm currently recording right now, and if I were not recording, they're green. It has happened to me before that I think that I'm recording when I'm not, and I hate that because that basically means that I waste a lot of time, and I think that I'm recording when I'm actually not. Uh, so that just helps me know that I'm actually recording. So anyways, this is our uh, starting plot here. Now, as you can see, all these plots around here, um, usually I think you would only be able to buy, like, eight plots or something like that, but with the mod, I can buy all, all, like, what, I don't know, 25, yes, there's 25 plots. Um, so anyways, um, now let me just, uh, tell you guys what this Let's Play is gonna be about. Now, most people, when they play City Skylines, they just try to build really large cities and large, um, areas, uh, just really huge, a mass, a really huge population, but in this Let's Play, I'm gonna be doing this with a twist, because what I'm planning to do is... I'm planning to use only, um, I'm planning to use pretty much only the smallest types of roads. I'm only going to use, um, well, it looks like I don't have it unlocked yet, but I'm pretty much only going to use gravel roads, um, to connect my little towns. I'm going to use the smallest types of services, so I'm only going to use, um, the small, I'm only going to use the small uh, fire stations and the small police stations instead of constructing the large ones. So this is going to be a type of a minimalistic let's play. I'll, um, you, you guys will see what I mean. And, um, so this let's play, this world is going to have one, pretty much like, one, um, large town, which is going to be no long, uh, um, I think that I'm going to keep the population of every town limited to less than 2,500 people. Oh, nice. We have a deer running down here. I think this is part of the new uh, update that they added. I don't remember seeing any kind of animals or anything like that here. Um, anyways, less talking. Let's get on to building. Now, this is going to be my capital city. That's going to be my largest kind of, well, county seat. That's going to be the largest um, city in the county. And, uh, or it's going to be mostly a town, and the town's population is going to be limited to 2,500 people, so I'm not going to let it grow above that. And all other towns that I build, they're hopefully, well, I'm not going to let them get above a around 1,000 people, so that just ensures that all of these towns are actually, like, small towns, not actually, um, something significant. So, let's see, I hope, I hope that we're going to unlock, yep. As you can see, we just unlocked the gravel streets, so let's see. Yes, nice, small roundabout. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to use this somewhere right here as my center of my um, capital town. Um, let me see. I'm just trying to think how I'm going to build this out here. Let's uh, build these two-lane roads here. And this is going to be a very tiny portion where I'm actually going to have um, roads, and on the other portions I'm just going to have gravel roads. Uh, so that's going to make this kind of type of rural type of feel. Um, well, actually, I, I got to pause because I'm kind of losing money now, and I don't want to... Uh, I'm also losing daytime. I kind of hate building at nighttime, so... Um, anyways, what I want to get at is this type of kind of rural type of uh, setting. It's going to be this very... Um, type of small area. Most of my towns are going to be based around freeways, and most of the ways that people are going to get from town to town is through the freeways. I'm not allowing myself to build any freeways, any additional freeways, or any additional large roads. I'm pretty much only going to use either these tiny roads, or most of the time, even smaller gravel roads. Um, so, I'm going to connect this up here. There you go. Nice. Um, so, I'm going to have these come in right over here, like so, there we go, nice, there we go, that's going to lead into this roundabout here, where I'm just going to leave all of these um, trees in here, and I'm going to, let's see, oh yeah, we, we don't have that um, two-lane road with trees yet, oh, I didn't know that, you have to reach a population of 4,600 to use them, so, uh, and I'll extend these just a little bit. These are still going to be asphalt roads. And then the other smaller roads, they're all going to be even smaller ro roads. Like like this. There we go. Nice. Um, I really like the new formatting where they have uh, these kind of dotted lines extending. 
around here, so that's really nice. Um, so this is going to be my first town. This is going to be my largest town, and I'm not going to let the population of this town go above 2,500. And although that kind of sounds very small, 2,500, uh, in this game it's actually quite a large population. Um, for some reason in City Skylines it's kind of not realistic when it comes to population sizes because um, in real life, uh, s like in City Skylines, you can build subways when you reach a population of something like 35,000. But in real life, they only kind of build subways once you reach more than a million people. Um, and even then, not that often. So, uh, I think that's already enough. Um, I might actually start building the roads kind of more not as often just to give it this type of uh, rural type of look I'm just gonna leave some spaces here and as you can see I'm also not I'm leaving a lot of dead ends and this is also to kind of have this more type of rural feel to it um, and uh, let's let's build out our water infrastructure let's see which way is the water flowing so the water is flowing that way as you can see so Presumably, we should have our um, water drain pipe right here, so that's going to um, spit out the sewage waste, which is going to go all that way. There we go, and then our and then our water pumping station is going to be here, so it's going to be receiving the fresh water from here. And uh, let's hope we have enough money to build out all this infrastructure, because I kind of feel like we're going to run out of money, and that's going to really suck. Um, so we definitely have to connect these two. Wow, things are so expensive. Um, now let's just connect this small portion up and then connect it up right over here. There we go, nice, so that's all connected. Now we got to get ourselves some kind of uh, electricity to power them. It's sort of windy here, there we go, nice. Um, got that. Uh, so how much would it cost... Well, that's yeah that's kind of expensive um, so let's see what is gonna power I think I'm just gonna use a standard coal power plant I don't want to deal with uh, windmills or anything like that um, although it is kind of polluting although on, on the other hand actually I'm gonna give myself another challenge is that I'm actually going to use only uh, renewable sources of energy so no no coal power plants or anything like that so that is this type of added challenge that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to place two of these right here. And then let me see. And then it seems like we can uh, get people to move in our city now. So let's uh, have some low density residential zones here. And then as soon as they start building out their houses, then I'm going to lead um, this power line from these windmills to right over here. The city's first power plant. Uh, I don't know if you would call a wind turbine a uh, power plant, although it kind of is. Um, oh yeah, you can't you can't tax the population. I remember that's yeah that's. Uh, you have to reach a certain milestone before you can do that. Um, now let's speed this up a little bit. There we go. Nice. We got people moving in here. So there we go, they need some uh, electrical power, so we're just going to leave that in right over here, and I hope that that's going to be enough for them. There we go, nice. Uh, seems like it is. Yeah, uh, these are, let's see, these are producing 7 megawatts, 7 megawatts. Your wind speed's pretty decent. Uh, renaming. Nice, we got a decent growth of population. So I'm not really sure how much how much people do we need in order to start to unlock the taxes panel. I'm not really sure, but um, hopefully we're not going to run out of money. In the beginning, it's kind of really easy to... Um, yeah, it's really, really easy to run out of money in the beginning. That's uh, kind of an issue. Um, and uh, also, in a lot of ways, this is actually easier than building up a large city. Because if I were to build up a really large city, then... I would have to make sure to do like urban planning and stuff so that because if you want to build a huge city oh yeah we have to extend that out here 
Because um, if you want to build a huge, large city, then you're going to have to plan everything out because obviously you can't have two small two road two lane roads or like a small two lane one way well not one way but a small road like this servicing a large city you're gonna have to uh, plan that out much better so let's see where are we gonna have our industry so presumably somewhere over here um, so let's see Yeah, let's, let's build another one right here. There we go. Nice, nice. Um, now, I don't want to block this side off. Although, I don't plan on growing this city too much. I still might want to grow it a little bit further. Um, so, let's just have some... Let's see. Where do we have... Uh, well, we can't have natural resources or anything like that. So, I just got to rely on just regular industry. Um... Mm, I'm just probably going to have this whole area with filled with industry. And then if I need more residential areas, I could just build out a little bit farther here. Um, nice, there we go. Oh, wow, we're, we're already earning money despite not even unlocking the taxes panel. That's actually a very good sign. That means that we're not going to be in debt. Uh, actually, the first time that I played this game, City Skylines, I really thought... Oh, yes. I, I always keep on forgetting that I have to get more water to them. Um, see, I kind of want to be really conservative, so I'm going to make sure to use the least amount as possible, like so, so that I won't spend a lot of money on that, because I'm, I'm obviously on a very tight budget right now. I do have $10,000, uh, uh, 10000 whatever... I'm not really sure how this currency is called. Like, in Sims, you have simoleons. In other games, you just have other type of money. In Grand Theft Auto, you have dollars. But here, it's just kind of... It's really weird. It's this kind of type of weird currency. Uh, it actually reminds me a lot of cents. Although, this is actually one unit of this is worth much more than a dollar. So, it's not like you have $10,000. In reality, this is actually... If you would convert this to, like, real dollars, then I think this would be, like, several... Maybe like a hundred thousand dollars or something like that, um, because obviously even for like small towns like this, the town um, treasury has like a lot of money even then. So we're gonna have all of our trucks and all of our industry go through this one exit. And another one of my uh, type of challenges that I'm gonna um, come to is that I'm going to use as little highway type of exits as I can, although most of my towns, pretty much all of my towns are going to be on the edge of freeways. Um, the exception is where I'm going to have like small towns, which as you can see right here we have, um, I can already see by the color right here we have fertile land, so that means we can do some farming industry here, and I might set up, later on I might set up a tiny type of farming settlement here, which is going to be connected through gravel roads, of course, since I'm not going to use, I'm going to abstain from using um, asphalt roads as much as I can, because since this is the capital, this is going to have a little bit of asphalt roads as you see, but all my other towns are going to function all purely off of dirt roads. Uh, which is kind of interesting. I wonder how the traffic's going to be. I think the traffic's going to be not too bad, although it might be pretty bad. Uh, so let's see. Let's have some more people move in here. I should kind of leave some space so that I can have, um, so I can add, like, buildings and, hus like, uh, like a clinic and an elementary school or something like that. Uh, obviously that's something that I have to do. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. We only have, like, 350 people. Okay, let's see. Where we might start... Yeah, I'm probably going to have to build another commercial area sooner on. Uh, let's see. Ooh, little hamlet. There we go. I unlock taxes and garbage, and I have to deal with garbage and stuff now. Let's see. What are our taxes? Only 9%. Uh, raise that up a little bit. Hopefully, you're not going to complain too much. I think 10% isn't that much. Um, let's see. They're already having issues with garbage, of course. Uh, surprise, surprise. Um, let's see. Well, yeah, I think I'm just going to build it somewhere, like, out over here. 
Um, oh, and yes, another thing is, uh, another challenge that I'm going to set to myself is that I'm not going to use any, uh, let's see, can, there we go, nice. Um, I don't have any tunnels, so of course I don't need to bulldoze anything underground. Now another challenge I'm going to set to myself is that I'm not going to use uh, incineration plants. Instead, I'm going to have all my garbage in landfill sites, which is going to be very, very bulky. But as I don't plan on filling this whole map up with buildings and stuff, I'm going to have enough space to fill it with landfill sites. So let's just build one. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna, we don't need more than one as of right now. I might have built another one, but uh, I don't really need two. Um, let's see. We might... Uh, Let's see, 10,000. Let's see, where, where can we build that? Um, I'm going to have most of my services on um, asphalt roads, like schools and stuff, just so that kind of looks better. Um, then have our small clinic here. We could even have it on the roundabout. Um, and hopefully I'm not going to use any... Let's see, we got that right here as well. So anyways, uh, hopefully I'm not going to use any types of, um, I might, although I might build, like, a, uh, only just one hospital. Although I'll try to pretty much rely on the smallest, like, the tiniest houses and the tiniest services. Uh, although I, I still probably will build maybe just, um, I'm still going to build high schools. I still need to have those as well. Um, so anyways, let's, whoa, they all left because there's no workers around here. That's an issue. Um... So what if we do this right here? It's gonna... How is the... How's the sound pollution here? Oh, it's not too bad. Yeah, they're gonna be fine. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Um, and that's gonna... Provide this little tiny... Dead end type of area here. Um, and I might actually in the future build... Uh, a little walkway for them to walk around here, but unfortunately seems like I still don't have that unlocked. Um, I'm not really sure what I'll have here. I might add more industry. It really depends on how polluting this is. Uh, although they're kind of all leaving, which is an issue, which means they have less taxes. Um, well, I still do have them coming in pretty nicely. Nice, nice. Uh, oh yes, of course I have to add water. There we go. Nice, great. And also, um, surprisingly, these small type of uh, water pumping stations and these uh, waste stations, they're going to actually, they surprisingly can provide, this one pumping station can provide a, a very sizable town with water. Uh, I think when we get to even several thousand people, I'm still not going to have to add any more than that, uh, which is pretty nice. So how's our electricity doing? Oh, wow. We're actually, surprisingly, I didn't know that um, these windmills can provide so much uh, power. Um, now, let's hope that that won't uh, go up a lot. Uh, yeah, there you go. We're going to need, we might have to add another one soon, but uh, it does cost 6000 which is a lot. Um, oh, wow, looks like these guys are already uh, disconnected from uh, power grid, so. That's, uh, yeah, that's kind of an issue, so let's see where... Oh, I don't have any of the... I, I don't have any of the best land. Let's see. Estimated production, 8 megawatts. This is the only area where I have the wind producing. As you can see, this is just this wind map, and the deeper the shade of the type of... Um, I, would, I don't know. i just going to call this blue. I don't know how this color is called. Um, there we go. Nice. So uh, I might have to co connect this. Let's hope it's not going to be too much. Ah. Uh, 1,900, that's not too bad. And, uh, yeah, all the electricity problems are solved. So now this is able to give electricity not to only the pumping station, but also to um, my town over here. And also, if you guys notice, I kind of have them spaced apart a little bit, is because if you put all of them together in one spot, that's going to decrease their productivity. So it's better to have them spaced out over a larger area rather than have them um, all, all clumped up together in one spot. Uh... I'm going to extend this right here and have small branches go out here, just kind of uh, lay them down here. Nice, nice. Um, and then I might just have it go out here. And from now on, I'm not going to use any asphalt roads other than that. Um, so these are going to be the only um, 
yeah, the only asphalt roads around here. So this is going to be this little residential area here. Um, let's see. This is kind of taking up too much space here. Pause that because I don't want that to uh, interfere. There you go. Nice. Yes, have it connected right here. Um, nice, nice. And right here I'm going to add um, the fire stations and other stuff that's going to be here. Uh, obviously I have to uh, provide all of that with water connections. Um, I'm, I'm still pretty good on money, which is nice. Uh, there we go. I don't need to have that come out there anyways. In the beginning of the game, you kind of have to be really um, watchful with how you spend your money because that's... Oh, Worthy Village. Second loan, district specialization. So that means that I can have uh, specific um, industries. Water usage. Ooh, I can build a police station now. Nice, nice. I can make districts now. So let's see. Let's make our district. Uh, how should we call this city? The, the capital of the whole area. Um, so, uh, I'm just gonna have the whole town like this. It does take up quite a bit of space, but uh, the population density isn't that high because everybody pretty much lives in low density houses. Um, From time to time, I actually sometimes include even these, um, if they were closer together, I sometimes include uh, this into the districts, but I don't really need to because there's nobody there. Uh, nice, Meadow Square population. Oh my goodness, the land value is so cheap. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, that's because I don't have any parks or anything like that. Um, so let's see. Alright, nice, we have people moving in here, there we go. How's our traffic? <laughs> It's completely pathetic. There's barely any cars around here. Um, so let's just build a, a tiny fire station or something. Let's see if we can build it. I don't think... Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think you can build anything on the outside here. We might be able to... Mm, there you go. Nice. We were able to build one tiny, one small here, right next to the clinic. Um, and let's build a tiny uh, police station as well. Can't build that next to it, so... I should probably build that here. There we go. Nice. So, we have all of our government services around here. So, that's nice. Ooh, we gotta speed that up. Um, oh, yes. I don't have uh, water extended here yet. Um, so, pretty soon I'm gonna have to start moving out of this city because this is going to be too large for my specifications. Um, once I get to a certain population level, I'm just gonna farm the people for money. And that way I'm going to be able to oh there you go finally <laughs> oh my god seems like I built the fire station right in time or else that house would have completely burned out um, let's see power usage oh I can't I can't ban smoking yet unfortunately I had oh I'm, I, I'm gonna reach another uh, population milestone at 1300 that's pretty nice okay I don't want to set any of these freaking policies to get out of here um, let's see how's our garbage doing um, Nice, nice. Four uh, percent full. Yeah, these people seem to be covered pretty nicely. Oh, except these guys here, because it's incoming here, and that's why. Uh, oh, there you go. Tiny town. Uh, gravel path, pavement path. I can build. Uh, ooh, I can finally build parks now. Awesome, awesome. Smoking ban. There you go. Landscaping. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I'm gonna ban smoking because uh, I hate it when people smoke around me. To be honest, um, nothing against smokers or anything like that. There's uh, a lot of good people out there. Just that I hate it when people smoke outside. It really smells pretty bad. That's just my opinion. Uh, so, anyways, so this is a nice sprawling little town here. Uh, let's see. I might want to build some parks or something like that, because uh, these people are really devoid of any types of parks or anything like that. Uh, let's see. I mostly just build um, Japanese gardens around here, because uh, they're the cheapest, and uh, they're kind of like the best. Let's see, can we build any here? No, unfortunately, this roundabout is too tiny to build anything like that uh, around here. Um, 
Mm, let's build one around here so that these guys here are gonna have a park. Um, let's see. Dog park. Um, large playground. Nice, nice, nice. We might be able to build one here. And, um, let's build one here. So all these are on mostly these type of large, um, areas here. So let's see. How are they... Ooh, freaking running out of power here. Oh my goodness. This is really, really problematic here. Let's see. Might I be able to build... I really hope that's gonna be enough. Oh my goodness. Oh, yes, yes. Nice, 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 nice. Oh my god. Yeah, it's... It's getting kind of difficult to supply all of them with power. Oh, wow. Check that out. Wind speed 10. That's the strongest wind that you can get. Uh, so, uh, I'm just going to... Let's see. How's the wind here? So, I'm just going to uh, um, continue building windmills on the shore here until I reach this one here. So, then they're all going to be changed together like that and providing all of my towns with uh, electricity. Oh, wait, how are these guys, how are these guys devoid of electricity? Oh my god. Oh, there you go. Nice, nice. Oh, it just looks like it's not reaching them. Oh my goodness. This is a really big issue here. Might have to take out some loans or something. Let's see, what's our, uh... Ooh, we can get a 60,000 loan. Should I take that? Um, ah, interest only 10%. That's not that much. Um, so let's see. Oh my goodness, this is getting so difficult. This is getting way too difficult. I really want to build a coal power plant, but I know that I pledged not to. Oh my goodness. So, so problematic. Should I just build them right here? Should I just change some more of them here? So expensive and so inefficient. But I did kind of say that I was going to do this, so... Uh, I have to keep my word. Which is really problematic for me. Anyways, let's see all our industry. Yeah, it seems like we're good. Oh, electricity availability. Uh, it's still not optimal, but um, we're there. Let's see how's our. Um, well, there's way a lot of trucks going around here. Although most of them aren't actually going to my town; they're just going through towns and stuff. Um, so let's see. I'm just. Uh, as of right now, um, the population, I might grow it a little bit larger. Um, yeah, it's not going to be that large. Uh, so let's see how, I just want to see how far the pollution gets here. Oh, it seems like the pollution, mm, it affects it just a little bit. I'm, I'm kind of scared that this is going to affect the people, if there's any people living here. But, um, yeah, I might... Yeah, I'm going to have some people living here, because uh, this is empty space here. And inside and around the circle, I might have some shops or something around here, because this is this type of area where a lot of people drive by, so that might be a good area. Just like this entrance here is the commercial area. Um, wow, we, d we really don't have that much commercial area here. I don't know, and in the beginning of the game, there's really so much demand for... Um, residential area, but so little demand for, um, other areas. Uh, so let's see. Hmm. I don't think, according to this map, it doesn't seem like a pollution is actually reaching this place here, so. Um, although, on the other hand, let's see. Ah, sure, I can have some people live here. Yeah, that's fine. I, I hope they won't get sick, though. Ooh, they're still disconnected. I might just have this little tiny, tiny connection branch here, and then that way I can eliminate all of them altogether. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Nice. Have that industrial zone. How is our industrial zone doing? Saw our trucks going by here. Nice, nice. Things are going very smooth in the beginning, which is great. Um, I am already amassing quite the amount, the number of, uh, quite the amount of uh, people and money that I need to continue my game. Um, let's see. I might, uh, yeah, I'm just going to ext extend this so that I can uh, add some parks here. Nice, nice. Um... 
How big is a bounce house? Ooh, there's a small bounce house there. Um, let's see. Expand this a little bit here. Let's add a Japanese garden or something like that. Uh, let's see. Dog park. Hmm. Or a type of tiny um, picnic area for them to eat somewhere. Um, so let's see. I'm also going to add a small park here or something like that. Maybe a Japanese garden or something like that. Let's see. There we go. Nice. Nice. Exactly the amount of space that I need. Nice. Nice. So hopefully we're going to have um, more taxes for them. Let's see. So let's, um, let's do the parks and recreation. So they increase the land value around the parks. Nice. Nice. Um... So how's our uh, fire safety doing? Oh yeah, I think we might. I think we might want to build another fire station somewhere around here. Yeah, I gotta slow down my population growth because this is getting a little bit out of hand. There's too much people here. Too many people. Mm. We're pretty. We're pretty good on crime. Um, although I am gonna build um, this small fire station just because the industry is kind of really prone to getting on fire. Um, might even build one here. There we go. Nice, nice. Um, so now, my plan, as of right now, is to just simply farm a large amount of money so I can... Uh, so I can get enough money so I can buy the other sections. Ooh, nice. Wow. Traffic's already getting pretty serious here. Hmm. We're pretty fine. Also, how are... How is our... Um, Disable despawning. Oh, this is, yeah, this is the traffic mod that I was telling you guys about. This is where I can, uh, vehicle restrictions, parking restrictions, uh, let's see. So, right here we have the mod settings, um, the simulation accuracy is very high, gameplay, uh, reckless driving, rush hour, I like to set this to 25%, um, there we go. Nice. And I like to have uh, more realistic parking, so that's uh, pretty interesting. Buses may ignore lane arrows. Um, mm, there we go. That's good. And I hope that applied. I'm pretty sure that there's no apply button that I have to. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I can already see a lot of people being parked around here, so... I'm kind of surprised the industry is moving out. I just think that's because they're in this area where it's really hard to get to them. That's why... Uh, mostly. Wow, the roundabout's doing really nice. That's actually, the roundabout is actually, um, very great for relieving traffic. Uh, which is pretty nice. Do we have any monuments or anything like that? Oh my goodness. Wow, we have, we have already unlocked so many of these monuments here. Fountain of life and death. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's pretty cool. I might just have, um, a few of these monuments on around every town. Wow, we can already build the transport tower. That's amazing. That got unlocked way too early. I mean, look at this thing. It's a huge behemoth of a tower. Um, I kind of wish to build that in this city here because this is kind of going to be the capital of the town, but that's kind of uh, problematic. So um, I hope that our population doesn't get higher than 2,500. I don't think it's going to get higher, but... It is kind of steadily growing, and um, I hope it doesn't get higher than, than around that number. Uh, so how's our uh, industry doing there? Nice, great. Uh, wow, landfill's getting filled up really quickly. Actually, a trick that you can do to... Um, because the landfill costs 160... Um, I'm just going to call this money, because this... For lack of a better term, or for lack of a better word to describe this... Um, there's a trick that you can do is when it gets filled up, you basically, it just keeps on telling you that you have to empty it, but if you press this button, you can turn the building off, and what that does is it's going to turn the building off, so it's not going to cost you anything to keep the building. It's still going to be producing, um, I still think it's going to be producing, um, pollution. It's just not going to be, uh, draining your money. So I'm just going to have a huge amount of these landfills all filled up, uh, eventually, of course, when I grow my county and add more cities and stuff. Um, 
Oh my goodness, all of them are moving out now, which is really problematic. So let's see, um, where are all of the natural resources? So right here looks like we have some trees. Uh, I might start a little lumber type of operation here, but that's when I get some more people to move in. Ooh, buy more land. There we go, that's exactly what I want to do. Oh wow, this is really cheap stuff here. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm gonna purchase this stuff up because I definitely have uh, enough money to do that. Um, I think I might buy just uh, all of this land here. There we go, nice, nice. Uh, wait, why, why can't I... Uh, how come I can't... What is this? Why can't I buy more land? Oh my goodness. What is going on here? What is going on here? Wow. I have no idea what's going on. I really don't know why. I thought this mod was supposed to allow me to buy all of the 25 squares. Or something like that. Um, well, I, I'm just... I'm guessing that... Um, I'm guessing that I have to wait until I reach more milestones, and that way it's going to allow me to buy more land. Although I'm kind of getting worried that it's not going to allow me to buy more land, because it's already restricting me on that. Um, yeah, that's going to be kind of problematic. I shouldn't have bought this land. If I knew if I knew that I could only buy one piece of land, then I'm just, I should have bought the one on the bottom here. So, um, And then there are some railroad connections here, so if I buy another piece of land here, then I can get, um, connect a railroad station somewhere around here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did enable the mod, though. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I did, so I don't really know why it works. Ooh, I accidentally, uh, demolished one that was just building. So, there we go. That's, that's pretty nice. Ooh, it has some problems with trash. Uh, so, let's see. Wow, there's a lot of noise pollution over there. Yeah, industry is really loud, that's why it makes all the noise pollution. Um, I'm still surprised it still hasn't bridged over, it's still on this link right here. I think uh, one thing that, it, uh, the 25 tiles expansion mod I think only works when you switch on the capability to unlock all of, um, all at once, so that you can buy up all the land all at once, although I'm not sure. Hopefully, hopefully as my city progresses, I'll have, um, be able to buy more land, but if that doesn't work, then I'll just, um, enable the unlock all functions, so I can unlock all the types of rows and everything, everything, so that I can buy more land, and hopefully that way it's gonna work. Oh, I have all the industry, I mean, I have all of the, uh, commercial areas moving out, um, so our population is dropping now, so that's a good sign, because this is not going to go above a certain level of population. There we go, nice. Meadow Square, so how much people are living here. Ooh, yeah, average land value has uh, definitely increased. Um, this plays the ratio of zone types, oh my goodness, we have so much industry here. Um, Oh, yes, yes, I definitely have to build a high school, that's, uh... So, let's see. How's our pollution doing here? I am just gonna extend this just a little bit so that I can, uh, build a high school here. Um, possibly. Let's see, is there anywhere else where I can build it? Um... Uh, it doesn't seem so, and I kinda wanna have all of my, uh stuff on these large roads, so. These people are probably not going to be happy once they build the high school, because uh, it's loud. Oh, actually, yeah. Oh my god, they're all so happy now that I built them a high school. Um, oh wow, there's so many students already. Wow, nice, nice, nice. It's, it's filling up already. There we go. Oh, and it's, it's hopefully, yeah, it's covered by water, it's covered by electricity, everything's good. Wow, we have a ton of, uh, trucks going around here, so that's pretty nice. Traffic's pretty good, though, there's no issues. The roundabout's actually helping out a lot, because roundabout's nice, because, uh, we have all of the trucks going in and out of the industry. There we go. Average traffic flows 83%, which is really good. I mean, considering the amount of people that we have, it's not really that much of a feat. Um... 
Ooh, this reach a population of 2,000. Oh, wow. I'm actually gonna be able to build buses very soon when I get some more people. Wow, we have already have so many students walking to school. We gotta get some buses so we can transport them here. Oh, wow, the school's already halfway filled. Uh, nice. So, it's already morning time, as you can see. Now, let's see. Uh, where do we have some uh, natural resources? Uh... There's, um, oh my goodness, there's so much natural resources there. Um, let me see. Alright, uh, I, I hope, I hope that's enough to build some, um, industry zones for, uh, chopping down the trees. Uh, let me see. There's so much trees over there, although there's also, I think that's, yeah, that's oil over there. And then that over there is ore. Uh, forest. There's a lot of forest over there. I think we might get some uh, production going there. Although I think we could still do some here. Oh, there's, there's even some oil right over here. Um, nice. So let's build our uh, first expansion of our city. Well, not our city, but our first town that is away from this town. And I'm gonna use this, uh, actually with the new update you can now build bridges on these gravel roads and they just look like these, um, type of wooden type of small roads. And I'm just gonna have it go like this, as you can see, this is gonna be on the border. There we go, nice. Um, so I'm not even gonna use off ramps and ramps, I'm just gonna use, uh, these types of, uh, so let's see. I'm just going to use these types of uh, gravel roads to connect to the uh, freeway. Mm, I just have this one connect right here. Nice, nice, great. There we go. So this is the only connection that we're going to have, and then the cars are just going to kind of uh, turn right here and turn out of here. So... Um, Obviously not exactly the most efficient way of doing it, but this is also a challenge, so that's also why I'm doing it as well. So, uh, let's see. I'm also going to have all of the traffic in this town go through this one road, so um, that might create some traffic, but... I don't think that's going to be too significant. Oh, let's build straight roads. Nice, there we go. Great. So this is going to be my um, city here. Let's see, where is... Um, where are the natural resources mostly at? Uh, they're mostly here, so... Um... I'll have people living right over here. I'm just trying to find the areas where there's the least trees, so I can, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have mostly people live right here. Pretty much, yeah. Um, and then the industry is gonna be... Um... I'm just gonna have a small plot of industry here. And I have to make sure to create the district and add the specialization because I want them to chop the trees down instead of, uh, producing goods or something like that. Um... district. I still don't know how to name these. I'm just going to leave them as is for now. Um, so let's see. I kind of already forgot how to do this. Um, industry specializations. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see. I think it's under policies or something like that. Um, or is it uh, policies, taxation, there are no residents in this district. Um, there's this kind of tooltip or something that you press and then you just have to take it and then you have to um, turn it into a type of uh, specialization where it's going to chop down the trees instead of doing all the other stuff. Um, oh, there you go. Yes, districts to go. Um, there we go, forest industry, oh wow, I don't know, we, we have to, um, oil industry, I have to have the most population, but 4,600, that's not even that much, 
Oh, we're going to reach a milestone in 2400. Oh, that's also when we're going to unlock um, public transportation. So, I'm going to connect this town to this town right here through buses, which are going to go on the freeways right here. So, here we go now that we got that going. Uh, let's see. Nice, nice. We got um, some uh, residents coming in here. Uh, let's see. Oh, and yes, obviously there is no um, electricity or anything for them here, so let's see. Mm, yeah, we're going to have some industry around here. And that's not going to be um, bad for the people living here because the forest industry doesn't produce any, I think, um, any waste or anything like that. I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, we're good on money, so that's fine. Let's just... Uh, Get the pipes all around here. And what I also like to do is, um, right here on the other edge, um, I like to lead a small road out over here. And then build a landfill or something like that here. Although that might kind of, um, poison the water or something, uh, pollute it. Although I'm not sure, uh, what is the land value here? I think, yes, land value is um, pretty expensive around these areas, so I'm not really sure about doing that. Um, although, uh, I might, there you go, I might, yes, there you go, I'm just going to do it somewhere over here. Nice, nice. Um, just going to have one over here. Wow, that produces a lot of pollution. Oh my goodness. Um, I hope it doesn't going to, hope it's not going to reach the people, so... Uh, let me just, uh, bring that out a little bit farther. Nice, nice. Yeah, I like to have all these things, like, really on the edge so that it doesn't affect anybody else or anything. Uh, hmm, I might just have two, just for the sake of it. Nice, there you go. Um, we gotta connect all these pipes here. It's gonna make that nice noise when you connect it. And let's just connect it the shortest way here. There you go. Yeah, it is kind of difficult connecting all the power grids and everything like that. Um, nice, nice. There you go. So I think we're just going to build some more windmills here. Just build them all along the shore here. There we go. So hopefully that's going to be enough wind power to supply our whole town here. Oh my goodness, there's so, so much wind here. It's going to be a great area for uh, wind power. I think this also has some, uh, yeah, a little bit of uh, forestry deposits, which we can use a little bit later on. Oh, boom town. So let's see, we unlocked buses. Ooh, highways, yeah, something that I'm not going to use. Bus depot, ooh, yes, yes, finally, advanced wind turbine. This is a great thing that we can use, um, which we can build on water to create our electricity for us, and this is probably going to be the thing that I'm going to use most of the time to um, create my water. There we go. Uh, I mean, create my electricity. There you go. Uh, you can purchase a new piece of land in the area view. Uh, so let's see. I think that we can only buy one piece, so I gotta be very, very careful of that. Let's see. What piece do I want to buy? Um, I can buy this and I can get this railroad connection, uh, or I can buy this and I can gain control of this freeway here, uh, or that might raise the... I'm not really sure exactly how everything works in this game, but I'm pretty sure that if I buy this plot of land, then I'm going to have to uh, pay money to sustain this freeway, because, like, it lands under my jurisdiction, so that might make my, um, kind of taxes, or not, not taxes, but um, expenses that I have to pay higher, uh, although that will gain me access to all these, um, oh, actually, I do have to buy this, because otherwise I can't run my... Can I run my bus line through a road that I don't even own? Wow, that's, that's, that's a very interesting question. I might actually test that out right now. And you can just have the bus depot here, right? Because um, it's uh, it doesn't produce too much sound pollution. Although I might have it here because... Uh, let's see, what's the... Pollution, sound pollution. 
Mm, yeah, these people seem to be fine. It's not it's not too bad. Although this is the capital, so obviously it's going to be a little bit louder than uh, the other towns that I'm going to have. Um, yeah, I think it's better to have the bus depot here. There we go. Great. Uh, so let's see. Let's just test this out. So what if I create a line here and then lead it right here? Oh, wait. Oh, my goodness. We can actually... Wow. We can lead bus lines through freeways that I don't even own. Oh, my goodness. I never even realized that. It's so awesome. Oh, my God. That's really, really cool. Um, that's actually... I, I learn something new about this game every single day. It's a really amazing game. I love City Skylines. It's uh, one of the best games I've ever played. So let's think about how we want to lay out our bus line here. So I might want to have it go somewhere like right over here. Although, on the other hand... Uh, hmm, let's see. I might actually connect... Uh, some of these roads here just so I can lead my bus through it. So, there we go. Ah, uh, nice. There we go. Something like like this way. There we go. So that way I can have, uh, yeah. So, my bus line is going to start out somewhere, somewhere right over here probably. Um, yeah, it's going to start out right here. So I'm going to have some very uh, short stops here. A few stops right over here. Maybe even one stop here. There we go. So now let's uh, have it go on the freeway up to right over here. So hopefully that's not going to create too much traffic because sometimes it does create a little bit of traffic. Um, hmm, another bus stop here. Uh, bus stop here. Although no, that's a little bit too uh, too much. There we go. Nice. Uh, another bus stop here. Um, hmm. Now uh, we could do just one here. Um, one here. Another one here. Um, another one here. There we go. One, two. I just like to go every other bus stop like this way let's have one here and then just go like this and um, yeah so that's gonna make this loop so that way people all over the place so this one bus line can accommodate all these people even if they live somewhere out here it's not too far for them to walk over here and uh, get the bus line so uh, so let's have it uh, out here. Mm. Right here and right here. There we go. Nice. That's gonna be our first bus line here. So let's see. Let's see if it gets any ridership. Uh, at first it's probably not gonna be any that significant, uh, but uh, it will later on. Oh, wow, there's a ton of buses coming out of here. Yes, this is this might actually uh, slow down the progression of traffic significantly because the buses are going to be stopping and then that's going to slow down all the other cars going. Um, wow, we had we have way more students before. I'm not really sure what happened. Uh, let's see how much people do we have living here. 2,337. Yes, still. There we go. Nice. Great. Um, yeah, and um, we don't have enough people to... Um, work here, so we might have to uh, build some more areas. Uh, populations here are pretty low, only 404 people. Um, let's see. As you can see, we have this nice type of uh, wooden type of bridge, which is the bridge for the gravel roads. Um, and before the update, they actually didn't have this. You couldn't raise or um, you couldn't build bridges or anything out of gravel roads, and now they added this, which is pretty nice. Uh, See how our how our our uh, landfill site's going. Um, nice, great. So, um, where are all of the buses? Oh, there's there's one right here. Hmm. There's quite a lot of people here. Oh my goodness! I didn't expect this many people to ride this bus line. I thought it was just going to be a very low ridership bus line, but in fact, it is actually quite a quite a high ridership bus line. Hmm. 
I kind of want to buy this one because that way we're going to gain access to um, to the railroad. Uh, or on the other hand, oh wait, there's there's a rail there too. So if I buy uh, if I buy any of these two plots, I can actually gain access to those rails as well. Mm. This one gives me more land to build on, so I'm just going to purchase this one. There we go, nice. And um, once I finish this episode, or whenever I have time, I'm going to investigate what happened and how come it's not allowing me to buy more land. Uh, it's probably just because, um, well, uh, I don't have uh, all the milestones unlocked. So, we already have abandoned buildings, which is kind of bad. My goodness. All of them are, uh, like, uh, yeah, and this is creating a really large slowdown. Oh, yes, the buses are creating a huge slowdown. I might just, uh, remove this, uh, stop altogether, because I don't need it, and that's, uh, messing it up. Um, and I usually just build some commercial area here or something like that. Well, I think we unlocked the hospital. Oh, no, the cemetery. Interesting. Yeah, we might want to build some cemeteries. Um... Well, there's a lot of people walking around here. Seems like this is actually a pretty good connection that people needed. Um, also, I think it's a pretty great spot to add some uh, parks and cemeteries, possibly. Just build the largest park right here. Or, um, let's see, how far... Oh, pollution goes up to right here, so... I can build the park here, and then on the other side I can build a cemetery. Um, oh, and also same as with... Uh, Ooh, now it's all connected together. Ooh, we gotta extend the water a little bit here. Actually, also same with uh, landfills. I'm only gonna use pretty much uh, cemeteries to store dead people and nothing pretty much else. Uh, so, how is our traffic doing? Uh, well, there's a lot of people here. Why is it kind of messed up? Oh, yes, yes, because right here it, um, makes a full turn right here. Hmm. I might want to make some, uh, bus stops here as well. Mm, let's just make one here. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's going to be nice. So let's see how, uh, which way the bus takes. Uh, oh, wow, it's all empty now. So are they actually taking the bus to go out? It seems like they are. There we go, it's out of our city's bounds now, so, uh, we can't follow it while it's, uh, oh, yes, that's, uh, my goodness, that's, wow, it's going really fast. Yes. Um, yeah, that's, uh, all of the freaking buildings are being abandoned and are being burned down or abandoned. Because there's not enough people servicing them. Yeah. I definitely gotta build uh, some of this infrastructure here. Even if it's just this little area here. Um, oh, wow. I almost forgot this. There you go, guys. Uh, nice, nice. Um, I might... Uh, let's see. How? What, what's the cost of land here? I might uh, build a small um, type of town settlement somewhere over here as well. Mm. Wow, there's so many cars here. Um, so I'm just going to build a tiny, tiny town right here on this side here. Uh, once again, it's going to be pretty much the same, all like all of the other ones. Ooh, I accidentally screenshot it and um, pressed F12 instead of... Uh, you have to press page up in order to... Um, raise up, something like that. Uh, let's see. Hmm. How are our natural resources? Uh, oh, there's a lot here. So, if I build a small town here, that's not gonna, going to affect any of our natural resources here. Uh, nice, nice. Uh, so, let's, uh, lead that down here. And then, let's lead that down here. Nice. Mm, it's a little bit too large, although on the other hand, it's the, not that much of a big deal. 
there we go, great. Um, so that's gonna be our exit here, and, uh, I'm just gonna build up a little, um... So, uh, this time it's just gonna be a little bit, like, really, um... Yeah, I think it's gonna be really, really spread out, moreover, just for, uh, more of an, uh, type of a small town effect, so that it actually looks like rural type of areas, uh... Mm. Yeah, just have it go like, like this, there we go. That looks nice. And um, all that I'm going to have here is just uh, residential areas. So uh, let's see. Are there any? Ah, there's not too many natural resources here. That's fine. Um, although this is going to kind of cost us a lot in pipes and stuff because they're kind of expensive when it comes to doing large portions of them. And of course we have this nice wind area where we can build windmills and stuff, which is really great. And then this uh, town here can pretty much service this whole um, area of uh, wood work which we have going on over there. Mm. And just maybe a, s a tiny, tiny part of... Uh, some uh, commercial area here, just so the guys can uh, shop here um, where they live. Um, so how is our water availability? Uh, it's still pretty good. And electricity, we're fine. Everything uh, we're pretty much good on. And then around here, I'm going to have uh, all these services. We're kind of running out of money here. Um, We only got 2,000 now. So, yeah. Nice, there we go. Nice, 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 nice. Um, oh, yes, I completely forgot. We still didn't connect that yet. We have to connect that. Oh, and that just ate a large part of our funds. Um, yeah, this kind of cost a lot of money for us. Um, so, obviously, they need electricity power. Um, which is a freaking pain in the a-hole. Oh my goodness. So I just gotta wait until I get enough money. Um, oh wow. I think I'm still paying out that loan that I took. Um, which is also why I don't have that much money. Oh, there you go. Nice, nice. There we go. Um, problem solved. Oh, this, th these guys here are going to need some uh, electric power as well. So I'm pretty much going to have them all connected like this. Um, electricity, demand. Uh, so hopefully these guys are going to have some more workers for them. Because uh, they're all complaining that there's not enough people to work on their um, tree farms or anything like that. And then they're also going to supply our, um, they're also going to be supplying our industry here with, uh, wood products that they need. Um, so I'm actually kind of thinking how are we supposed to, I'm, I might actually take this line and I might have it go through this town over here. Uh, although I'm not really sure how I'm going to lead it through. Um, I might just have it go down here. Yeah, that's what I'm just going to have it do. So, uh, let's have this, uh, line over here. Um, there we go. That's how I'm going to have it. Uh, so, one stop here. Then we can have another stop somewhere over here. Then we can have another stop over here. I'm just going to have them pretty rarely because there's no need to have them more often than that. And because I don't want it to be kind of slowed down. 
There's going to be most stops here. Um, and there's probably some stops here as well on this side too, so we can pick up people and drop them off. Uh, there you go. So that's going to service uh, these guys as well, so they can get to work and get to and from work. Um, which is pretty nice. Uh, oh, so it seems like this, this one's is only incoming, so... So that means that on the way back, the bus is not going to get in here. So that means that these guys are going to have uh, problems going to this town. So um, let's see. Or on the way back, I might just have it do a smaller loop so that it doesn't take as much time. Uh, wow, this is getting pretty complicated here. Um, yeah, I might just have it like go down here or something like that. Uh, I probably don't even need this here. Um, so let's see. And then have it stop here as well. And then have this stop right here as well. So that means that um, on each one of these stops. So it means that on each one of these stops, it um on each one of these stops, it, it stops for both ways, so that it, um, when it comes, when it comes back, it goes in here, it does a loop here, and it goes back here, there, and it goes to this town here, and then when it, um, goes from this town, and it goes in the direction of this industry here, it's gonna go all the way through here, and then it's gonna go there, um, although, should I have done it kind of differently, because, uh, that way it's gonna be uh, it's really confusing because both of these is all of the same color so I just gotta look at it I might actually split this into two lines and have uh, instead of I could just have one line go from um, this town going to right over here and then just have another line going from this town to over here um, or should I just have one large line which uh, ties it all together Oh, wow, this this boulder is green because it's uh, yeah, oh, it's kind of interesting because it's kind of rendering it as a building. So, um, let's see. I guess I kind of should um should start ending this episode soon. I think I'm kind of getting a little bit carried away. This has been already a very very long episode. Uh, not sure if I should or should not uh, continue it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna end it pretty soon, so. And yes, this bus is gonna go like so. Mm, I think I might make the stops a bit, uh, not as often. Um. Yeah, I think I don't really need this here. So, wait, instead of, uh, oh my god, this is so confusing. I have no idea where it is stopping and where it's not stopping. Oh my goodness. Because it's all like doubled up. Pretty sure it is. Uh, so um, this way that means it does this loop here every time it goes. So when it goes here it uh, comes out here and then it makes this loop here. And it goes out there into the forestry town. Uh, so let's see. The only way to tell is that uh, if we have... Um, if we actually see in which direction the buses go. Oh wait, this bus here just didn't stop here, so. I might actually want to remove these stops here altogether. Oh, there we go. See? Yeah, these are actually two stops here. There's just going to be a lot of buses going around here. See, how are we here with parks? Uh, yeah, I should have thought about that before because there's, like, no parks here. We need some parks.
Nice, we can have a large park here. That's gonna be also a tourist destination for people coming on the buses. Great, so hopefully they're good with parks now. Um, let's see, how are they with parks? Mm. I might have to, there you go, a bounce house here. I'm kind of running out of money here, but that's fine. Oh, and then we can have some more residential zones here. Nice, nice. Awesome. I hope we can get some more people to move in here. It doesn't seem like they are kind of moving in for some reason, even though there's demand for that. Um, for some reason. We have tons of buses going out here, and most of them... Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm pretty sure most of these people are... Uh, oh, did that bus just go through there? Oh, wow. Let's see. So where is this, in which direction is this bus going? So we also gotta make sure that the people are actually getting on the right buses because um, we don't want them getting on the buses if they are going to the industrial area. We don't want them getting on the buses which are going to the different direction. Um, oh, it's weird. It seems like it's always, it seems like it's stopping. It's not going through that stop for some reason. I have no idea why. Uh, oh, there you go. See, this one's going into the residential area. I mean, I mean, uh, industrial area. Um, so, uh, isn't it, uh, pretty sure it should be stopping here, it's kind of, uh, yeah, this is really messed up, some messed up stuff here. It seems like none of them are stopping here for some reason, I'm not even sure why that is, um, it's really problematic. So they're coming out of here and they're going all to this bus stop here, and then this bus is not stopping here, let's see, is this bus gonna stop here? Because if not, then I'm just going to have to remove this bus stop because it's f weird. It's freaking weird. Oh, this is... Oh, somebody has a fire. It's, it's a good thing that I have a fire station here. Oh, it seems like this one did stop here. Oh, so only the buses um, going in this direction actually stop here. Wow, that's, that's weird. So it seems like there's a ton of people riding on these buses, so... Wait, why? Why are there so many... So many empty buses here? Because all of them are stopping here, and it's creating a freaking... Uh... Oh yeah, there's tons of buses here. Now we have, like, one bus line for this whole area. It takes so long for it to actually get going. Oh, so that one didn't stop, so that means that it's going in the, um, yeah, it's going towards the, um, the industrial area. So let's see where these guys are going. Worker at Organic Foods. Why is he going to work here? Using, going to pharmacy, oh, yes, he's going right into the capital here, so, um... I always seem to have trouble with industry where it's not having enough workers and for some reason it's moving out. Yeah, it's always been an issue for me for some reason, I don't even know why to be honest. Um, so let me see, I might actually have to uh, increase the, amount, the number of vehicles here because um, this is, uh, yeah. Hmm, looks like all of these have, uh, enough workers now. So are people actually using this branch of the bus line? Let me check that out. Uh, let's see, three people. I mean, it is nighttime, so it's kind of understandable, but on the other hand, I gotta ensure that, because otherwise it's not gonna be very efficient. Fortunately, it seems like people aren't really using this, this bus line here. I might actually, yeah, I'm probably going to split this bus line up into, um,
So let's see, the buses which are incoming here. Let's see, are there any incoming buses here? Uh, just waiting for some buses over here. Oh, and this one, I think this one's going back to the capital uh, city. Um, yes, there we go. This one's incoming into the capital. So it's all fully loaded up. Uh, and same as this one, it's all fully loaded up. And same as this one, it's all fully loaded up. Uh, so the way that I see it is, uh, this bus stop, um, even though I didn't even do this, uh, I would be like this. For whatever reason, the game decided that this bus stop is where um, the buses which are going to the capital stop. And then this bus stop is where the bus is going to um, the industrial um, wooden area actually stop. I might actually, so I was thinking I might make a bus line which goes from uh, the capital to um, this town here, and then another bus line which goes from this town here to the uh, to the wooden area here. Um, I'm actually gonna give the places names because this is getting really annoying to call them this. Uh, how should we call uh, the capital? Uh, let's just call it River Run because. Uh, that's how the county's called. So just, for now on, the capital is going to be known as River Run, River Run, uh, and then this town here, it's going to be called. Um, I'm thinking of a good name. Uh, let's see. And then this, all of this is going to be included here in the town. Um, have this nice organic type of shape. I really like how this looks like. Mm, Cherry Square. That's actually a really good name. I, I like that name. I I might even keep that name. Um, well, actually, I gotta check how they with garbage. Yeah, this is kind of bad. Cause so I gotta. Uh, I'm gonna actually extend this farther out here. Oh, I actually can, cause then the buses are gonna get messed up. Yeah, I can't do that. Can I? Um, if I extend this, um, yeah, this is still gonna be like uh, not really good. Hmm. I don't want to demolish this building, but I kind of want to build something here, so... Um... Hmm... I guess I'm just gonna have to build it somewhere over here. Yeah, I'm gonna build it somewhere over here. There we go. Nice. Hopefully that's not gonna... Yeah, so as you can see, this purple type of uh, radius square area is where the pollution is gonna go to. So that's the farthest point which the pollution can reach. So I'll just have two of these right over here. And all of these are gonna serve service this town here. Um, and when they get filled up, I'm just gonna add more of them. Hmm. Hey, I might actually, actually connect these two. How much is it gonna cost? Oh, that's not that much. There we go. Nice. Um, that's pretty cool. So we're going to have an alternate type of back road here that's going to connect these two small towns. Um, so stuff is working out pretty well for us. Uh, so how much people live here, actually? Uh, 1,817. I don't really expect that many people to live here, but... Uh, oh my goodness. More people. How come... What happened to all the people living here? Are they, uh, let's see, 86? So that means that more people actually live in Cherry Square than in the capital. Well, that's really strange. Um, and I didn't expect that. Um, anyways, the population isn't higher than 2,000, so that's still fine. Oh, wow, so, so there's barely anybody who lives here. It's pretty much mostly an industrial area. Um, no wonder the buses are so filled up here. Um... How are the buses doing? Are they, uh... Gonna make sure that they're all, um... I might increase the number of buses because they seem to be getting too overfilled for some reason. So if this one didn't stop here, then this one should probably stop here. Well, at least any one of these two. So this one's gonna stop here. 
So let's see. How is our bus line doing over here? Hmm. Ah, it's doing pretty well. It's also um, acting as a type of a local bus line for this whole town here, just because it's too small to have its own bus line. It's just going to have this uh, bus line service as well. It seems like it's uh, holding up pretty well, so as of right now, I don't think I'm going to need any more uh, buses. Uh, this bus depot is pretty much just for this whole line. Ooh, our landfill is getting filled up. I'm actually, yeah, I'm probably just gonna build another one right next, to, right, ne right next door to this one. Mm, let's just build four, just because I feel like it. Nice, great. Now we're uh, gonna be set on garbage and stuff. Ooh, our cemetery is yes, pretty busy. Well, we have a lot of buses. Uh, I mean, uh, not buses, but well, yeah, buses too, and a lot of cars going out here. Uh, grow the city. Let's see. Oh, yes, and this is the issue of having a lot of buses. This is, makes it all messed up. This is the only area where we actually have any light, because all this other area is like... Yeah. Oh, wow, there's way too many people living here. Yeah, that's kind of an issue. I really didn't think there's going to be that many people living here, but uh, that's kind of fine. Ooh, yeah, we kind of got to build more stuff, because this is going to get messed up. Although this is already, like, almost on the edge of uh, the town, we can still, uh, still probably get it to, uh, yeah, there we go. Nice, 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 nice. So how are we on electricity? Ah, uh, we're pretty good. All these windmills are generating enough electricity for our whole city. Um, so, yeah. Mm, there's already still not enough people. Are there any people using this? Uh, let's see where this guy going here. Worker at bus depot. Oh, he's probably just gonna enter the freeway here and then go to the bus depot. I might want to connect this, um... Although, actually, no, I'm not gonna connect any of the cities. Uh, I don't really like connecting the cities, which are really, really far away with these small, dark roads. They're pretty much mostly gonna use... Ooh, this is really bad. Wow. Yeah, this is, this is really, really bad. Wait. Owner firehouse. Oh, yes. Because, um... As you can see, this is a one-lane road, and uh, he would have difficulty coming in here from the fire station. Um, anyways, the city's doing pretty well. Nice, nice. Um, I might actually expand it, because that city's growing too much. Uh, just a little bit. We do have uh, most of our industry here, so that's still kind of like the capital. Um, Most of our buses are running at uh, pretty full capacity. Oh my goodness. So many people here. There's way too many people here. Uh, I might actually want to um, increase the amount of vehicles by 200 because it's getting kind of out of hand. Um, let's see, might, can I increase taxes? Because... Uh, kind of want to increase taxes. Um, 10%. 10%. I, yeah, I think they're going to start complaining if I set it to 11%, but let's see what happens. Um, well, actually, this episode's getting really, really super long. I really don't even know why, why I made it so long. Um, I probably should have uh, ended this episode a little bit later on, but uh, I was kind of, oh my goodness. Traffic here is horrible. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is the issue with buses and stuff, because they're all in, like, gridlock now. Um, anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I don't think any people actually got to this point. If you did get to this point, if you actually watched the whole video, uh, then...
comment down in the comment section that you did. I would really appreciate that. Uh, I really love playing City Skylines, and this is a great game. I would like to share with you guys my experiences with this game. Um, well, you can see the pollution from here. Uh, so anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, sorry for uh, rambling on, and this episode is way, way too long. It should have been extremely much, much, much shorter. Um, we accomplished so many things in this episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. This is Nightcrawlix here, and... Um, Actually, immediately after this, I'm going to be starting my next episode, possibly. So, um, expect more episodes for this series. I'm, I'm still, don't worry guys, I'm still gonna play Minecraft. Uh, this is just, um, I just kinda got bored of playing Minecraft for a while, and I wanted to diversify my different span of Let's Play types that I do, so, uh, this Let's Play is just more of a, oh, wow, busy town, heavy traffic ban. Oh, wow. My goodness. Oh, wow. This is really, really nice. Free public transport, level 4 unique buildings, oil industry specialization. Awesome. I like the fireworks effect. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. This is my Kralix here, and, um, yeah. See you all guys in the next video.